All right, you guys, today we have five, not one, but five Intel Nook i7 10th generations. These things are, I love these little computers. Um, they're great little boxes. I actually have a uh, eighth gen SIN right here. Um, I upgraded it recently from a fourth generation. I've had them ever since they came out. Um, I love them. They're great little boxes. This is actually for a client that I'm deploying these to. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get them configured. Each one I got um, a 16 gig uh, DIMM. So it's got 16 gigs of memory. It's got the i7 model. Um, and each one comes with an M.2 SATA Samsung uh, SSD, which I love these SSDs. They are great. Um, never ha haven't had one fail uh, yet. Not saying that it would, that it won't, but I mean... It's just good reliability. So first unboxing, the boxing has definitely changed since over each generation. Um, they put in a little bit better styrofoam insulated box, which is really nice. Really makes it snugged in there. Um, and on the back of these, we have our standard HDMI, one gigabit Ethernet, two USB uh, 3.0s, and USB-C. And then of course our power jack. And I love the new design. Um, and now instead of two USB 3.0s, you now have a USB-C and a USB uh, 3.0 on the front. And then I like this other feature here on the side, a SD slot, which is very nice. Um, so I'm actually gonna show you the difference between um, the 10th generation, which you see here, and a fifth generation. So they've made a lot of improvements. So this is actual a fifth generation here. You can see the uh, 10th generation is just a little bit higher. You can see you got the two USB ports, the uh, headphone and uh, jack there. Same headphone jack, power button is here. Power button used to be up top. Um, and a USB-C and USB 3.0. And then the back, I'm just so glad they went away from the Thunderbolt uh, connector and the mini HDMI. And now you have a standard HDMI and USB-C which can be used for um, I don't know, anything from another screen to a USB hub that has more USB-C and DVI, HDMI. I mean, I love that USB-C port. Um, and now they also have the, the lock here on the back because it used to be here on the side. Um, and in this model, it doesn't have the SD, um, but some of these models did actually come with that SD slot. Um, not all of them. And this is the i7 uh, model as well. Uh, but I love the new holes on the side because it's just making it a lot easier to breathe, which is just better for the overall performance and, and cooling for the machine, which I love this side, um, all vented um, instead of these just little slits. The one downside that I see in comparing these, this really, I know this is an older model, um, but even on the newer models, um, they're still metal. Um, that's one downside that I do not like about the uh, 10th generation is it is plastic now which I feel like that's a big turn off I don't I don't I like metal I think it's more sturdy um, these were definitely still metal all the way up to the 9th generation and then 10th generation they just switched to plastic which I hate that it just makes it feel cheap um, but I, I still love them still I mean I would still buy it <laughs> of course um, but yeah that's the difference there um, so let's keep unboxing here and see what else we got. Looks like you got your, your screws. So if you wanted to um, use the mounting plate, and um, that's an, uh, an adapter for a higher um, M.2 drive. Now the power brick has gotten huge. I mean, look at this puppy. I mean, this is a huge, huge power adapter from what it, from what it used to be. Um, just trying to read the watt here. Yeah, 19 volts, 6 amps. Um, but I mean, look at that power brick compared to what it used to be. I mean, just a little small, small little plug here. Um, but I obviously come with technology. Things are going to be improving, need more power, uh, possibly. So that's probably why they went with a bigger brick. Or maybe it's more... I don't know. I, I haven't seen one of these fail, so I wouldn't say, you know, better reliability, but uh, maybe they have been improvements there. So I'm going to go ahead and go step by step now that we did the unboxing 
and I'm going to show you uh, how easy it is to customize your Intel Nook box here. We have our Intel Nook here. We put it upside down. Um, we're going to go ahead and unscrew the bottom here so we can go ahead and pull this back panel off. Got that back panel off, and I see they've went with a uh, almost like a ribbon cable now um, connected to the motherboard for if you wanted to add a uh, SATA uh, connector drive, which is it's different. Um, I like the standard SATA cable, but they went with some kind of ribbon cable now. Uh, and you can see we have our two DIMM slots and our M.2 SATA uh, pin. So let's go ahead and open up our memory here. We got our 16 gig DIMM. Slide that puppy in there. All right, we got our memory, 16 gigs. Then we have our M.2 drive here, which we're gonna grab a smaller screwdriver for. And screw that one screw. Then we got our M.2 drive, and literally. It is this easy. Slide right in, get our screw, and done. <laughs> Literally, we got our 500 gig M.2 drive, our 16 gig DIMM, and we are done. Now you wanna make sure you put this on the front, which we have that backwards. So it goes down to that. And we're done. Now we can go ahead and install a thumb drive that's got Windows 10 installed. And we can start the installation process. All right. There it is. All done. So let's go ahead and start installing Windows 10 now. All right. We have our Intel Nooks. We have them all laid out here. We got the thumb drives plugged in here with Windows 10 installation. And we got the Windows 10 screen here. We are ready to install Windows 10 and this project is complete. Hope this is helpful, you guys. Thanks.